I'm Austin, and I am in Perfumo Canyon. I'm Addison. <laughs> Hi, I'm Caitlin Tomasello. Great. And we are outside Perfumo Canyon. It's really dark, you can't see, but there's the moon. It's very bright tonight. We are pointing towards the Big Dipper. Mm -hmm. And now... Uh, towards the Polaris. Yep. There it is. <laughs> Through the empty space. Looking okay. at the Big Dipper and the North Star. Big Dipper's that way, northwest. Polaris, due north. Yep. There it is. Pretty accurate on the phone. Mm-hmm. All right, here you go, Caitlin. Got it. She is the observer. Yep. And she will be drawing the Big Dipper as we see it. And then this is going to take us to Polaris, which is right there. Correct? Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yes. And if we look at Polaris, <laughs> where she was looking, it's just about due north, if not exactly due north. Right. All right. So this one's 25 degrees. I'm holding it up to the Big Dipper from the very top to the very bottom. That's 25 degrees, possibly even one or two degrees more. And then I'm doing the three fingers for the width, or at least that way. Wait, where's that? Then? <laughs> for the width of the ladle part of the Big Dipper. And then another one to the side. It's going to be, what is it, 15? width of the bottom, yeah. So, now we have the full degrees length from the tip of the dipper, which is Dube, to Polaris, and it looks like it's about 28 degrees. Here's the completed drawing of what was shown in the video previously, in terms of degrees and width and length. Mm -hmm. Notice, not drawn to scale. 25 degrees from the left side of the dipper to, or for the handle to the right side of the dipper, mm -hmm. and then about 5 degrees for the depth of the spoon part, and 15 for the width of the dipper itself. So now I'm looking at Cassiopeia from Polaris, which is uh, pretty much in line with my hand, so Cassiopeia would be right around here. You can't see all of Cassiopeia it looks like. They're kind of faint tonight but um, we know the general direction and we can see a couple stars that look like the shape of a W. So. And these two uh, inner stars would have been pointing somewhat towards Polaris. Um, it's not that close, but we believe Cassiopeia to be out there. And then if you followed that, you could eventually hit Andromeda Galaxy, which would be a smudge in the sky out around there. And there's our drawing. Alright, so this is us arcing to Arcturus, and relative to the Big Dipper that we see in the sky tonight, it is kind of almost off of the uh, the notebook. <laughs> Actually, it'd be more, sorry, more this way. Arc to Arcturus. Keep that arc going, and you hit the next brightest star in the sky. And it's up. There. Seems to be what color would you say? <laughs> what color? Uh, white. Looks white. Maybe faint yellow. Yeah. 